Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing this look and we're going to see if I can recreate it. <laughs> you guys were asking how I did it, so I decided to record a video. So today we're going to be using the Ace Beauté palette. As you can see, it's well loved. I'm a blue person. I really love blues. And we're going to be using the 39, sorry. We're going to be using the 39A Dare to Create by Morphe. We're going to be tapping into this red shade right here. If I can point <laughs> right here. It's a shimmer. So we're going to get started. So we're going to get started. As you can see, I taped my eyes so I can get that crisp line. And that's how I do that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be tapping into, please don't drop this, we're jumping into algae. We're just going to pack that on a Morphe 5, M504, and I'm just going to blend it at the top. Now we're going to go into seagrass, which is a darker green. Using the same brush, just going to... Now that we're done with that, I'm going to go in with Turtle, which is this dark green. And just brush it right on top where I put seagrass. I'm trying here, guys. Now when you get the green how you like it, you're just going to blend it out a little bit so there's no harsh lines. You can actually dip back into algae and just make sure that that top part is blended into the darker green so you don't see the harsh lines. This is another Morphe M504. I'm in love with this brush. And now that we have it blended to our liking, oh wait, I'm just going to touch this up with algae again. Because like I said, you want to see the gradient in your colors. No harsh lines. I think this eye is a little bit better blended. but Alright. And now it's time to cut the crease. Let's pray that it will be even. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, guys. So I'm going to take this old BH Cosmetics brush. It's really old, guys. And it's been standing strong. I just realized that I have not been centered this entire time. <laughs> Probably still not centered. Okay, so I'm just going to outline where I want to go. And I just want to go a little bit higher than my crease because my lids are a little bit creasy. Okay, I think <laughs> I think they're even. I like hope they're even. Yes, no, yes. Don't make me go out here looking crazy, y'all. Because then I might have to disown you. Sorry, I'm just going back to the photo for reference. Because we need it. <laughs> so I added a little bit of it on my finger. I'm going to actually spray my finger. And then I'm just going to tap it in. We're finger painting again today. Just 
just getting into those creases that I missed. Like where the brush and the finger shadow reach. Okay, now that I'm done applying the red, I'm just going to take the tape off. I forgot the red was on my finger. <sighs> Don't know how I managed to a palette, which is this gold right here. And I'm just going to spray it into the pan directly. It's almost a skin tone type color. Let me use that and draw out my line. So we're just mapping out the liner. With this bronzy kind of gold. And I'm filling it in. And that's how we look so far. So I got a little carried away with this wing. It's not perfect. It definitely is not perfect. But I think I could clean it up with a Q-tip and some makeup remover. As soon as I find the Q-tip. <laughs> it's micellar cleansing water. My bad. And I just, there we go. And we're going to go in with this one right here. So I'm going to, again, spray it directly into the pan. And we're just going to go over that line that we made before. See, as you can see, it makes it a little bit brighter. Because this is like a true gold and not a bronze gold. Do you see it? It's coming together? Yes? No? Maybe? Hmm. Looking at the photo, I did not go this low with the shadow, but like I said, <laughs> I'm just trying to recreate the look. Um, and as you can see, the gold is a lot brighter now, and I can see it a little bit more over my lashes. So the lash we're going to go with today, because I literally... Do not remember which lashes it was, but I think it was this one. Ooh, the light. This one. Excuse the messiness on the box. I use these a lot. And this is from Lash Me Up Cosmetics. Currently, they're under construction to come bigger and better. So these lashes aren't available right now. But when they are back in stock, I will definitely let you know. So I'm just going to take my lash glue and again this is the Lash Couture by Kiss lash glue. I like this one because it easily peels off. Don't I look like a pretty Christmas bird? I feel like I look like a pretty Christmas bird. And then I'm going to be taking my Ardell lash applicator. Like, 
If it wasn't for this applicator, I would never know how to put on lashes. So it was a great purchase. I got it at Ulta when it was on sale. So I kind of fell in love with it. And it's never steered me wrong. Sorry, I'm just looking for my mirror <laughs> that's underneath all these palettes. And what I do is I turn my face until I find the right lighting. This for this eye, so I gotta find lighting for this one. Now that I think I have successfully put on my lashes, I don't know, it wasn't sticking because of how wet the um, gold was, and it's still not sticking. See? Just lifts right off. I'm gonna take that gold and go a little bit above the lash line. I think I'm just gonna change the lash. So I'm just gonna go in with this lash right here. Because I believe this is the lash I was wearing in general. Also, it may work better than my last lash. I don't know what it is. Every time I use this gold combination, it just never works out. Like, I have trouble with the Lash Me Up lashes. And then there's this other pair of lashes that weren't going on the gold either. So, hopefully this one is the savior of this look. <laughs> or I'm going to be sad. Okay, let's cross our fingers and hope that this works. Because if not, I just might cry, guys. I'm telling you, I just might. I think we got a winner, guys. I think we got a winner. I can't 100% tell because my eyes are blinded by these lights. But I'm doing it for y'all, okay? <laughs> I'm doing this for y'all. Okay, I think... That worked a little bit better. Oh, my finger's stuck. Just pinched that edge a little bit. And then for extra security, I'm going to use this eyelash curler. Just to make sure it's blended in. This is my Fenty Pro Filter Foundation, or Pro Mac, whatever it's called. <laughs> I love it. It works. It gives my skin, my skin, but better, and I'm dropping everything. And most importantly, it matches my neck. Because some people be out here running around with foundation that don't match the rest of their body. I'm not going to talk about people specifically, but <laughs> it happens in this crazy world we live in. It's like, everything else is bad. Can you just make sure that you have the right color foundation? Like, that's important. In my opinion, that's important. I can't find my concealer. Found it. Oh, I'm almost out of it. I need to go shopping. For sure. Oh snap, wait, I might actually be out of this. Okay, a little bit came out. Oh yeah, I definitely need to go get more of these. I had three and I finished all three. That's how much makeup I do. And if the look doesn't work out, the look 
is never presented. Okay, I know this is the typical YouTuber concealer look, I guess. But I don't care, it works for me. It lifts my eyes, so whatever works. sure I'm not messing up that liner. Now I'm going to use my NYX sponge with my mixture of the Maybelline finishing powder in 35 and 40. Dab that on my NYX sponge and we're just gonna pat that go right under that liner. Just a little bit here to brighten that up. Bring it down the bridge of my nose. I don't think any went on the bridge of my nose. <laughs> so just gonna swipey swipey. There we go. I think. And while that sits for a little bit, I'm going to take my true complexion and I'm not centered once again. <laughs> going to mix a little bit of the contour and the sculpt shade, tap off the excess, and we're going to shape shift our nose. So let me know what you guys want to see. I've been doing polls on my Instagram. So I think the next look is going to be a green and gold look. I'm not 100% sure. It depends on what you guys want to see. So if you want to head over to my Instagram and answer my latest poll. I'm taking my powder. Blend that out a bit. Paint some of that on my forehead, brighten that up. And then go in with the bronzer and contour to make my forehead seem a little bit smaller. Alright, now to go in with the all over face powder, which is the Maybelline finishing powder in the shade 40. I love this powder so much, I think I will never change it. I think this is lifting. Do you see it? This is a little frustrating. Nothing wants to stick on top of this shimmer. Like I've used five different lashes. Like this eye is doing fine. But this eye is just messing with me. And now I look like a powdery ghost. <laughs> but that's all going to change in a second. I'm going to take my spray again. Spray it on the beauty blender I used on my face to blend out the concealer. And we're just going to pat it down. Put some life back into our skin. And we went in with that color as an inner corner highlight. I'm just adding some more. Because I'm an inner corner highlight fiend. 
Can't really see it. That's sad. Then we're going to do bloosh. I forgot what bloosh I used. So borrow then me. I'm going in with the Strobe Genius Warm palette. And I'm just gonna take this Morphe R36 brush. It's this pink color right here. And I'm just gonna go over the face with that. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this pink highlight right above that. Can you see it? I think so. I said blush and I ended up putting on highlight. Ain't that about a beep? Okay, since I can't seem to get it to show up, I'm just gonna wipe. I will go ham with highlight. I'm just saying. Like what? I can't see it. They ain't gonna see it from space today. I think because of how bright the light is. Hold on. I mean, you see some. I like that. All right, let's bring the lights back up. I think I'm gonna have to work on my lighting because I looked washed out and I don't like that. And I'm just going to spritz the brush one more time with no, just using the residual product. Just to set that highlight in. So I'm not looking so chalky from the front. Do the same to the other side. A little boop on the snoot because I'm hella and cute. Let's see how many brushes I can use in this video. Because <laughs> right now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm probably going to use some more. <laughs> Okay, let's let me double check to see if I have an inner, not an inner corner highlight, to see what else I did to my face. Because I'm pretty sure I have to draw freckles, but I don't know if I have under eye coloring. Mm, no under eye coloring. Just the look. Oh, is that a line? No, thank you, ma'am. I definitely have a glowier blush and it's pink. I'm trying to think what shade did I use? Please hold. So what I figured is that I used a pink blush on top. 
So I'm just going to, ooh, I just dug into something. God damn it. All right. I'm going to be using this shade from my makeshift palette of NYX shadows. So I used Golden Peach as a highlight. And I'm using Make Me Blush as a blush. <laughs> Because I know I always use a blush when I do my freckles, so. Mm. I love the flushed looks. It's the holidays, you have to have a blush nose. Okay. okay so then i'm going to take my epic ink liner if i can find it <laughs> yeah my epic ink liner from nyx in the shade brown and this is how I do my freckles. If I can find my Mira powder. I always put a few on the nose. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then I start. I start <laughs> and then I continue on the cheeks. No, baby, I looked like I just broke my neck just now. <laughs> I never make an even amount on this side. Like, my right side will always have all the freckles. Oh, I went really low with that one. Because this is a magnifying mirror, so my apologies in advance. That's the best way to get up close and personal and see where you're putting your freckles. And then I just tap it out with my finger. I don't know what that was. All right, I think I did enough. Maybe not on this side. Okay, I put on some hoops because they're my favorite. And I took down, well, I got my hair from being pushed back to the front, sort of, kind of, maybe. <laughs> but this is the look. So cute, so fun. I know the holidays just passed, but it's a really pretty look. All right, I feel like I look washed out. Hold on. There we go. I would look cute with some freckles. Look at those. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but here's the narcissistic montage. Does my hair look sexy pushed back? 
so that's the end of the video guys i hope you learned something or at least learned how to do this look minus the janky lashes um <laughs> but uh that's the end or should i put on a lip hold on let's try some lips so here's the lip look i went in with trendsetter lip liner from morphe and then i went in with my mented lipstick by mended <laughs> which is a black owned company and in their shade dope taupe i don't think you'll be able to see this yes maybe no okay it wouldn't focus so i went in with that and it gives me a my lips but better if my top lip was matching my bottom lip kind of shade but yeah that's the end of the video i hope you guys like it I'm in love with this look. I'm in love with the freckles, to be honest with you. But this is the finished look. And I hope you enjoyed. Love you, K. Okay, bye. Mwah. Like my women black, just like my coffee. No sugar, no creamer. That melanin does it for me. I need that caffeine. And